Collective behavior and swarm patterns are found everywhere in nature. Robots can also be programmed to act in swarms. Researchers at the Max Planck Institute for Intelligent Systems, MPIIS, Cornell University and Shanghao Jiao Tong University have developed collectives of micro-robots which they can move in any formation they want. The miniature particles are capable of reconfiguring into many different formations quickly and robustly. Floating on the surface of water, the versatile disks can go in circles, dance the boogie, form pairs, bunch up into a clump, spread out like gas, or form a straight line like beads on a string. In this formation, the researchers can move the robots in such a way that they write letters into the water. The research project titled Micro Robot Collectives with Reconfigurable Morphologies, Behaviors and Functions was published in Nature Communications. So these disks or tiny robots are made of uh, polymer, we 3D print them and uh, they are roughly 300 micrometers, so roughly two times the width of a human hair. At that miniature size, computation isn't an option. External forces need to be at play to be able to steer the robots. Gaurav Gadi and his colleagues covered the robots with a thin layer of cobalt, making them magnetic. The second force is the fluidic environment, the water around the disks. When particles swim in a water swirl, they displace water and affect the other surrounding particles in the system. The speed of the swirl and its size determine how the particles interact. Thirdly, if two particles float next to each other, they tend to drift towards each other. This is known as the Cheerio effect. All three forces together are necessary to move the robots. So this here is the microscope uh, under which we uh, transfer our particles. On this white piece of Teflon, there are roughly about 50 to 60 robots on this. And then we use a paintbrush like this to transfer them uh, onto the water surface. And we transfer this over here. Once in water, the robots are placed in a coil setup, which generates a magnetic field when electricity flows through the many wires. The magnetic field is one factor allowing for the particles to be precisely steered around in their one centimeter wide pool. Gardi has programmed an algorithm that, depending on what parameters he tunes, causes the micro-robotic collective to change its locomotion. So we start the software by clicking here, and then we put the value of the, the field strength, which we want in this place. We put the frequency that we want, and when we click update, we see that the, uh, the graph changed. And once we are happy with that, we click on enable, they start dancing as a group, and then when we want, they can also come together and form a straight line. We can also bring them together as a single group. The future scenario for such micro-robotic collectives is to go even smaller, to develop a system made of particles only one micrometer small. These collectives could potentially go inside the human body, navigate through complex environments, deliver drugs, unblock or block passages, or stimulate an area hard to reach.